Hey everybody, Glenn here again with DigitalSandwich.net. Let's work with some IV today. So you've probably seen those IV generators out there. They're very, very cool. Here's probably the standard for IV generators out there. It's called an IV generator, and it's by Thomas Luft. It's very, very cool. You download it for uh, Windows or Mac or Linux, and uh, here's an example image from it. It looks, it's very cool. It looks, it looks very good. But the thing with it, though, is that it's a separate program. So what you would have to do is export your scene from Cinema 4D as an OBJ, import it into an IV generator, export it out of an IV generator, and then import that back into Cinema 4D. And there's a free plugin for Cinema 4D, which is based on that same IV generator plugin with many additional features. So th this plugin's been around for a while. It's it's really cool. It makes it, it kind of just condenses everything into one place. It's a lot easier to manage and work with. So I'll put the link up, and you can download it. It's all up for whichever version you have. And then let's jump into Cinema 4D, and I'll show you what to do. So I was doing a project with Ivy recently, and it looks pretty decent, but it just didn't look lifelike enough for me. What I wanted to do was add a little bit of movement to make it look like it was blowing in the wind. And I'm going to show you the trick that I used to make it work. So let's set up our scene first. Let's make a, a plane where we can grow our Ivy on. Let's load up the Ivy Grower plugin. It's under Plugins, Ivy Grower. I'll open this up in a new window so we can see it easier. So we click on growth, click on the object we want to grow to, we double click to pick the point where we grow from, click grow ivy, it's going to start calculating and go into town to grow this ivy. I'll just stop it there. Let's go to birth and here are the options, branch size, leaf size, leaf density, I mean, those are pretty self-explanatory. So this is the option that's really important to me is render instances for leaves. So what this does basically is it's, it's going to make two leaf shapes, one for the adult leaf, one for the young leaf, and then it's going to instance those all throughout the IV. So all I'm going to have to do is, do is affect those two objects, and then it's going to affect everything. So make sure render instances for leaves is checked on. Let's click give birth, and you can see that it grew our IV. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Looks great. So let me open up our IV. I'm going to hide the instances unhide the instance references and let's uh, zoom in and take a look at these things so here's our two instances let me move them apart so here we have our adult leaf and here is our young leaf so I want to get these to blow around in the wind and there really isn't too much to these it's just a it's just two triangles so my first step is I'm going to give myself a little geometry to work with I'll select all the faces do a subdivide. I'm going to do this for both of them. Alright, so what I'm going to do to make these move is I'm going to use an effector. I'm going to go to MoGraph, Effector. And when I first tried this, I tried using a random effector, but it didn't quite give me the movement that I wanted. So I ended up going with the formula effector, which seemed to work, seemed to work best. So let me drag this under one of my leaves. And if I hit play, nothing's going to happen because... If I go into the attributes, I have to go to deformer. I have to tell it what I actually want to deform, which are the points. So if I click this, it just goes insane. That's because my uh, position options are set way too high. So let's go in and uh, put in something. So here we go. If we hit play, look at that. That kind of looks like wind. So we can change, uh, get it to the way we want it. Let's find a good one. Let's go something around. Yeah, let's do something like that. And I will copy this. I will drag it under my young leaf. So now they're both blown in the wind. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to change one of these so they don't look exactly the same. I'll go into effector, variables. I'll turn down the strength a little bit. I'll change the frequency, the time offset. See, that's too slow. Change the time. Just so they look different. Something like that. I don't know. I feel like this one's too fast. Something about there. So now let me hide my instances and then unhide everything else. Let's zoom out to see it all. And just like that, we got some ivy blown in the wind. Now the inherent problem with this ivy generator is it doesn't look that good up close. So here's the problem. If we get up close, they're going to be intersecting. 
the IV is obviously just planes, so there's a lot of problems with it, which can be fixed, but unfortunately, I'm going to save that for another time. So basically what I wanted to do was just give the impression of this IV blowing in the wind, which this is a pretty good option. It's not very memory intensive. It's super easy to do. It's, it's really quick to do. It renders just as fast as anything else. So in the next tutorial, what I want to show you is how to make this IV look better. I mean, for me, this looks way too bunched up and too clustered. It's uh, the, the IV isn't shaped quite like IV. I'll show you how to, how to render it better, how to make it look better and just how to use the Ivy Grower plugin. There's a lot of really cool features such as growing the Ivy on, which I'll show you in the next version. So for now, that's all I got for you, but check back soon for part two. So until next time, this is Glenn with DigitalSandwich.net.